Right, today I just want to have a quick discussion um, about circular saws. Not just handheld ones and battery ones and such, but generally all saws that take circular blades. Um, now, as you can imagine in my trade and with the workshop, I have quite a few. In fact, let me show you. First, the chop saw that I use for work. That's number one. Then in the van, carried all the time, as you can see, I've got another three. That's four. Down here, I've got my punch saw. That's five. In the workshop, two more battery circular saws. That's seven. And here, three other saws, making it ten. Then there's my workshop pullover saw. Eleven. And finally, the biggest of them all, the table saw. Grand total of 12. Now the one thing they've all got in common is these things. Circular blades. Now as you can imagine, 12 saws, circular blades, ranging from what, let's say 20 pound, going down to the lowest that you'd want to buy, up to oh, 200 plus for the big ones. All of the ones, especially the ones I get, I don't know about the use, but all the ones I get are all TCT blades. They can all be sharpened numerous amount of times. And to do that, what's ideal is a good sharpener. Now, I've not had one. I'm one of these sort of people that in the past I've replaced blades because they've got blunt. And when it comes to the big blades, and now with the plunge saw, I've noticed just how expensive this is becoming. I've decided that's enough. It's time now to start sharpening them myself. And I'm going to get 20 times for each blade. Going to save me a lot of money. Regardless of what the initial outlay is for the um, grinding station, for the sharpening, it's got to outweigh easily the cost of replacing all these blades. So I decided to look around and find myself a good sharpener that wasn't going to cost the earth, it was going to be easy to use, do the job and be reliable enough to punch through all these different sized blades. And what I came up with is... Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Um, it's very well boxed, it's not done a good job of uh, making sure it doesn't get damaged. Um, instructions, bag of bits, that's got the blade, screwdriver, spanner, allen key, everything, you don't need any tools apparently. Um, the main machine, and that is it. Why? It's all cast iron, so it's all heavy duty stuff. Wood, that's it, drop it and break it. And the main machine. And we've got It came from China. I don't know what make it is. Um, carbon circular saw sharpener. Model MF126. That's all. Manufacturer? No idea. No manufacturer's name on there. They obviously don't want to run up to it. I hope that's not the case. Right, anyway, but like I said, Normally you will find these on the market generally around this area um, for about £500. This has cost £180, so it's been well worth waiting for it to come. Um, and it, all the specifications are exactly the same. The motor rating, everything, it's all exactly the same. So you're not losing out on anything, you just have to wait. Right, so we've got the motor, which is adjustable. Calibrated, very nice. Um, this, when I set it up, will fasten onto there. That is what your blade fastens onto. Spins round, that's for short blades, obviously. Um, you should have a look. Oh, that's the wheel there, yeah. This moves it backwards and forwards. 
you can see. Um, spin it round, gives you a bigger blade. Spin it round, gives you a shorter blade. Um, that travel layer is for you cutting the blade, uh, cutting the teeth itself. I'll go through that later on. Maybe I'll show you how all that works. Um, but it sits on there. So that's going to give you the size that you've got for the teeth. And um, there's a nice blade for that. This I want specifications off it before I start using it so I can get another one. It's got an angle on that side of the. You see that side's got a, a pitch on it. I'll have to bear that in mind when angling the teeth. Right in here. Oh, a bit. And up to one here. You get everything that you need for that. <laughs> right, okay. Bit of blade in first, in fact this is probably what these are for. Mm -hmm. And that one, okay, a couple of bits, I don't know where to go. 
see if the book helps enough. In, anyway, but I think it's all Chinese. That is for there. This one doesn't give a description anyway for it. Hmm, that's strange. Although, it does a lot. Stop it, oops. Stop it while changing. No, oh, okay. That's where it goes, but it's not showing it on the picture, you see? So I would imagine that's the stop travel. Is it? Or not? Yeah, stop to travel. Lock it in place. Okay, that's what that's for. And this one is to clamp them down. And that's it. So in basic, now this isn't anyway demonstrating how it works. This is just me checking that I've got things in the right place. That next needs to be there. So that needed to be round there before I put the blade on. Just a support right at the point where the teeth are. This is a pin to go in the gullet. So, let's see what we've got that size. Yeah, that's correct. Put that on. Put at the bottom. That over the top. That onto there. So that basically is a setup. Um, coming to use it later on, I'll have a few goes myself first, make sure I know what I'm talking about, and then I'll run a, a little video just demonstrating that. So there we are. <coughs> now I have the facility to sharpen all my blades and get the most out of them that I possibly can. And as I say, I'll do another video running through exactly sharpening different blades and um, how to set it up and how to angle it and everything. Uh, other than that, if you've got any questions about the machine, well, I've got it from if you want to link to them people. And um, just stick us a message in the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Right, well, thanks for watching. Bye for now.